Hello everyone and welcome back to something. In today's video we're going to be going over what happened to the Relic upgrade system. So, first let's go over the date of when it was initially leaked. It was initially leaked June 30th, 2023. We are currently, well as of making this video, it is the 15th of February 2024. So it's been, you know, nearly 8 months since the leak. But you probably think, oh they probably just scrapped the system. Uh, the things I'm going to show you, the screenshots from 70s leaks himself, will be done in uh, chronicle, chronological order of release. So, first thing he did is he spoke about this. He spoke about basically how you would uh, like pay for it, basically. So, it'd be 10 upgrades, one for, of course, a HP attack and then defense. It would cost you X amount of materials, but it would cost you 55 of the each cosmetic upgrade material. Uh, to max out each one. It would cost you 55 of each and then like 30 mil gold or whatever it was. But of course this could be changed. It still could be changed to this day. Even he states it here it could be changed. But it is actually not actually that expensive which is quite cool. Uh, the stats you get from it, like he says here, 150 attacks, uh, sorry, 75 attack, 450 HP. Uh, sorry, 150 attack, 75 defense, 450 HP. Which is like, okay, it's 420 CC per character. Of course this doesn't include um, like your gear effects. So if you've got HP defense or attack or down, of course you'll get more attack. You'll get more HP defense. Of course, your which sub roles you're running as well, you'll get more from. Then the next one we got was this, which was basically uh, him showing what they had done. So basically, they had changed it and made it so you got a lot, and I mean a lot more uh, stats. As you can, like, let me just I don't need to do that. But as you can see, he a lot more stats was added to it. And it made Lost Vein gain roughly like 4,000 CC, and he was like 79,000. This is before True Awakening. So basically, Lost Vein would have been one of the first characters to be able to reach 80,000 CC. But of course, uh, in the end, it ended up getting changed. Of course, we'll get to that in a second. But they ended up reverting it back to a uh, lower upgrade. So it's like it's not as broken as what it currently is in this, in this uh, sort of kit. I'm pretty sure this was October-ish time. Uh, you've then got this one where he speaks about what you basically need, 55 of each of these three, and 33 million gold to upgrade your relic to max. The 33 million gold? Insane. Like, that is a lot of gold to be using on, like, just upgrading a single relic for, like, 400cc. Like, 30 mil, you know, 30 mil if you've got, like, max gold doesn't sound like a lot, but that's 330 runs of gold. That's a lot of gold. And of course, the most recent thing we've heard about it was basically them saying that the stats have been changed. Basically, they had lowered the relic uh, from, basically, they had lowered the stats, and now it gives you 295 attack, 415 defense, and 3.2k HP, which is still very good. Don't get me wrong, it's still extremely good, but it's definitely a lot less than this one, which was, it gave you a thousand. Let's just go on to here. What's this relic given now? So this relic currently gives 500, 350, 3.6. It would have given him 500 attack. But now it gives... Uh, so this is what it would have given, 500 attack, but then it got lowered to about 295. Which is still a lot. Like, don't get me wrong, like 900, 915 defense is quite good. You can see here, we'll put him here, and you can actually see. Let's just put him to the side a little bit. Uh, 915 defense, it was 350. Or, or actually, no, this is how much the upgrade gives it extra. So you get extra 915 defense, taking it to over 1,000, you know, and he gets, like, close to 7k HP. Which is quite good. Bear in mind, this is before you add the effects of your gear onto it. Which is, of course, like, your biggest thing, is the gear effects. Because gear effects do, like, affect the relic. I'll show you here. Like, these stats here, I know I'm in, like, the weird view. Let me change that to normal grand view. There we go. It'll affect all of these. Like these are effect. These affect your relic stats because because of course I have perfect attack crit dam. You know all of these sub stats will affect as well as these main stats as well. But of course crit damage won't affect it, but the attack will. But that's what we sort of sit now. We're sort of a limbo. I do think that maybe the next Ragnarok update, maybe even the next Demonic Beast, which of course was recently leaked. I went over that in today's leak video, uh, which I reckon will probably get March ish, end of March, maybe start of April, and then. I think they've just left catastrophes, honestly. I'm not going to lie. I think they've just left catastrophes and they won't even start doing catastrophes until Rag has ended. Because we've only had one... We've only had one chapter in 
close to... It's 10 months now. It's been 10 months. I've only had what, a single chapter. It came out in, I think, I want to say March. Or, like, end of March. I've only had one chapter. It's insane. But, of course, this whole Relic Upgrade system, I don't think they would scrap it. Because, from what I've seen from these leaks, from what you can actually see from uh, these leaks. I'm going to go back to this. Come to here. From, as you can, from what you can actually see, they already have like the little UI at the bottom. Let's go to this one. This is the best. This is the clearest view. You're going to see they already have the UI at the bottom. They already have the amount of resources it's going to cost you. I think it's more about implementation. They have to implement it in a way where uh, if you need a specific resource, for example, yes, you need 55 of each of these and like 33 million gold, but you may need another resource to unlock it for a specific character. And it may not be unlocked for every character day one. So what they may do is they may add a resource where you have to... Um, sort of, like, I don't know, you have to get, like, a special coin, and that coin then allows you to upgrade it for a character sort of thing. So, like, LR coins. They may even make it cost LR coins, because LR coins are super abundant, and they even say they're going to make it, like, easier to get more LR coins, because it costs True Awakening. But this, of course, would put quite a strain on the supply of LR coins. But, eh, as long as they add, as long as they make more supply, it doesn't matter how much uh, demand there is, as long as they make more supply. But anyway, yeah, I thought I'd just make a video talking about it because it's something we haven't heard about in the leaks for, I want to say, close to four-ish months. Yeah, like November, maybe start of December-ish was the last time we heard about it. And I thought I'd just make a quick video going over what I think is going to happen. I, they wouldn't have scrapped it because they've it already seen that they've already come too far in development. I think it's more about implementation. They did actually say they wanted to implement it. Uh, with the event demonic beast thing they made, where it was the three demonic beasts with the three difficulties, and then in the end, of course, that had to go, that actually had to get scrapped because uh, it wasn't balance tested, and no one actually finished the final difficulty on the third floor, which basically means they couldn't do it. It wouldn't be a viable thing to add to it. So I think they're just trying to make up some some, uh, some game mode that they could you know implement it with. I do think maybe they should make a new currency uh, which you get this currency from completing demonic beasts, I don't know, like a special coin or something, which you get from defeating, uh, defeating demonic beasts, and you can use it to buy, I don't know, LR coins, like a limited amount of LR coins a week, SA coins, SSR pendants, UR pendants, gold, demon mats, enhanced mats, all that kind of stuff. But I think you should only be able to get it from completing demonic beasts, you know, floor one of bird gives the lowest, floor three of nittle gets the highest, sort of thing, just so it's a little bit more... I don't know, it gives you sort of reason to farm it after you get on all the relics. I have every relic in the game, and I have the ability to get Jenna's relic when I get Jenna, sort of thing. So, the literally, only relic I don't have. And I do think that they're maybe implementing a way through the current Demonic Beasts is probably the way to go. So, I mean, Demonic Beasts sort of are the whole thing to do with relics, and it's not sort of like, oh, I have to do this, and then I have to do something else to get the materials to do it as well, to level up my relic. Just put all the relics under Demonic Beast. Like, I think that's what they were trying to do with the mode they added, but it was just too bad. It wasn't balanced. There wasn't... Uh, people just weren't able to complete it because there was so many gimmicks. It was, like, barely possible to do Floor 1 as a free play player or of the first difficulty because it was just so horrible. And Floor 2 was like, yeah, you could do it, but you have to spend hours doing it. It's just not fun. But overall, you know, it will come in the future. Uh, probably... I reckon we'll get it before mid this year, because if we don't get it before mid this year, they've been sitting on it for nearly a year, which is a long time to be sitting on a single, 100% like confirmed leak of a new piece of content that's coming out. But it's netmarble, we never know, maybe they have scrapped it, extremely highly doubt it. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.